What's up you guys, welcome back. Not gonna lie, I am kind of dreading this right now because in today's video, we are going to be going through my summer and spring shoes, then putting them into storage so I can make room for my fall and winter shoes. I apologize, my room right now is a little chaotic. There is stuff everywhere, literally everywhere on the floor. Before we get started, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are all about the cozy vibes here. I would love for you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day to day. I post a lot of behind the scenes you don't wanna miss. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. Just to give you guys an overlook of what everything looks like, these are all of my sandals and shoes that I am trying to declutter or reevaluate. I'm not thinking of getting rid of a lot of these, to be honest, because I do declutter my shoes every single year. But these are the two bins that I have of my fall and winter booties. Fall and winter appropriate shoes in those two bins right there. Put those into the bins so I can store them away for this upcoming fall and winter and then put all of the fall and winter shoes in here. So this is kind of like our multi-purpose closet. I usually put the in-season shoes in this these two first rack and these two on the second rack. These are just my tennis shoes and sneakers that I wear pretty much all year around. So I have those in the first one, two, three rows. These are Charlie's three rows right here. I take up these two and these two for my in-season shoes. I have a lot of shoes, guys. So that's what we're dealing with today. I think the most logical thing to do right now is to take out the fall and winter shoes from my bins. So these actually don't include any of my long boots. Uh, those are actually in my little basket that's next to my clothing rack right there. I have a thread up bag here just in case I want to donate stuff and then keeping the rest and putting them into storage for the following season. So let's go ahead and get started because I feel like this video will be quite long if I don't. Okay, I'm gonna bring over uh, my storage boxes. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna go over this first box. I'm gonna go over these shoes super, super quickly because if not, literally this video will be two hours long. I have so many pairs of shoes, it's not even funny. So the first one that I'm taking out and keeping, of course, I'm gonna keep majority of these. I just wanna show you guys what I have in my collection. Not really declutter, not sure. We'll declutter some, but not very much. So just spoiler alert, sorry, it's not gonna be very satisfying if you're into minimalism but I am definitely not a minimalist when it comes to shoes and I never will be. I've accepted that fact about myself. So at least I'm not in denial. These are my BP Chunky Combat Boots. I love these so much. I just got these this year along with these ones. I believe this is by Caslon. These are from Castlon and I love this color. It is just so gorgeous. It's just a really soft material, so I don't really need to break these in or anything. These are brand new. I haven't worn them at all, so I'm super excited to wear these for this fall. Sorry, I am wearing shorts, by the way. I'm just dressed comfy because I know I need to do a lot of hard labor today. I have these shoes, which I also wear a lot, and these are just really plain ankle booties and they do have a pretty tall shaft, so I do like these a lot. They go with literally everything, and obviously I have worn these a lot, and these are from Halogen, also from Nordstrom. I buy a lot of my shoes from Nordstrom because they have the best selection of ankle booties or boots in general. These are by Nisolo. I love Nisolo. They promote more sustainable materials for their shoes. They are an ethical shoe company, so I love supporting them, and these are one of my favorite shoes from them. This is this kind of beige tone booties, and I've already gotten so many uses out of these. They go with absolutely everything, so I love these so, so much. These are a fun one. This is also by Halogen, I believe. Let me just double check. Halogen. I got these last year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I can't wait to style them this year. I'm still really into the leopard and cheetah print trend. I think these are really fun to just kind of 
try out something new. They are definitely the star of the show of your outfit if you do wear those. I always wear something super simple with those because I want nothing else to kind of clash with it. These ones are by Vince Camuto. And I love this kind of slit detail on the sides. I am a huge fan of this beige nude boot situation because they go with everything. And they're just such a timeless piece. I love the pointy toe here. These are brand new. I haven't worn these yet, so I'm super excited to wear them these year. Uh, wear these this year. Can I talk today? Probably not. I also have a very similar pair, but in this snake print. These are so fun as well. And these are also by Vince Camuto. And these are kind of like a lower shaft ankle, ankle situation. So this is what it looks like. I have some hiking boots that are waterproof. I have these in two different colors and they're waterproof. So they're really good for hiking or doing winter activities when it's snowing or raining. And these are by Cole Haan and it's the Grand Explorer boots. I have the white and the black because I love them so, so much. And they look really cute with like just leggings or something. They're so adorable. One bin is emptied out. Now for the second box. These are, I believe, from Everlane, I think. Everlane, yep. Yeah. These are the Boss Booties and I am obsessed with these. These are so, so cute. They're just black, plain, pebbled, leathered leathered leather booties. I wear these so, so much and these are quite an investment. I don't think it's like too, too expensive, but it's definitely not cheap, but it is worth every penny. I wear these so much with a lot of my outfits. These are also from Everlane. I haven't worn these at all because I bought them off season. I was eyeing this color so much. This is in the color cumin or something. These were sold out for the longest time, this specific color. And as soon as it was available, I just snagged it. It is this kind of like knit booty, sock booty situation. I have these boots, I believe are from Cole Haan as well. If you can't tell by now, I'm a huge fan of Cole Haan shoes. They are so comfortable. They are really high quality for a pretty reasonable price in my opinion, because you do get what you pay for in terms of like quality, but they're not super, super expensive. And I love these so much. I got these in like one of those fashion subscription boxes. I think it was Stitch Fix. I think that's what it's called. I used to have that subscription, but I stopped because I didn't want to keep on buying clothes. This was one of the things that they styled with, styled me with, and these are kind of a more rounded toe. I like a more pointed toe for my booties, but these ones are an exception. I love this little buckle right here. It's so dainty and cute, and it has gold accent on the black, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I am actually going to declutter these because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the quality of these. They look really edgy and cool, but I just don't reach for these as much anymore because the heel is way too high for my liking, first of all, so it's kind of uncomfortable. And I just don't wear uncomfortable shoes anymore. It's not my thing. So I'm going to give these away or put it a thread up. These are also by Cole Haan. Love these. These are kind of this blush pink color with gold accents. I mean, it's kind of that sock booty situation as well. And I love these so much. I think these look especially nice with dresses and skirts. So I am keeping these. I have these really bedazzled combat shoes. I thought these were so, so cool. And I still think they're cool. I'm going to keep these because they are one of a kind in my collection. I don't have anything like this. It has all these buckle detailing. And these are by Steve Madden. So love these. I think I am actually going to part with these. I wore these so much because I didn't care to get them dirty. And I wore these whenever I was on a trip where I was going to be walking a lot outside because of the low heel. And they're super comfortable, but it's a little bit narrow right here. And I think I've loved them enough and I have similar things in my collection. So I'm going to be 
decluttering this out of my collection. Okay, these are super cute as well. This is by Nisolo and I love these. These are so adorable. I don't even know what the style of these shoes would be called. Oxfords? Loaf Oxfords? I, I think they're kind of like a boot version of Oxfords. I don't know. I love this color. First of all, it's kind of that camel color. So I love these so much. I think these look so cute with skirts and when you're wearing tights. These are very unique in my collection. So I don't have anything like those. These ones I've gotten a lot of use out of. These are waterproof and the brand is called Blondo. I got these from Nordstrom during their anniversary sale last year. They are super practical and convenient because they are waterproof and they're super sturdy and high quality, but they're still really sleek looking. All right, okay, these ones are going to be a little bit tricky because I have worn these so, so much and I still love them, but they are quite worn. I believe these are Steve Madden's. No, these are from Aldo. Oh, nice. Okay. And I used to be obsessed with wearing these. I would wear these in the rain and, you know, they don't seep through or anything. These are such good quality shoes. I wore these for years. I think I've had these for at least like five years. It's been so long. Oh my gosh. Well loved well worn but i don't know i really don't know if i want to keep these or not just because they've lasted for so long and i know that i wear these a ton this is hard i think i want to keep these for now because i kind of niche need shoes where i don't really care about getting them dirty or ruining them so these will be for that purpose i will keep these for that my ugg slip-ons like these these are so convenient it's just not convenient when it's snowing because obviously it hasn't opened back. But yeah, definitely keeping these. Not Uggs. Oh my gosh, these are Minnetonka. Not, not Uggs. But these are Uggs and I have the kids version Uggs. They're like the really short ankle ones. Not really like a stylish choice, but I do really like my Uggs for errands and stuff. And those are my only pair of Uggs, so I'm just going to keep those. Now, we're gonna go put away our summer shoes. These shoes are from Everlane. Absolutely love these. Literally, I'm obsessed with these. These are like their knit mules. I freaking love this color as well because it goes with everything. These are flats or loafers by Cole Hans. And I'm going to keep these. These are pretty new. I only wore these a few times and I love them. Going to keep my white sandals because these are really chic and it goes around the ankle. So kind of goes like that. I love these. I, I'm throwing them everywhere. These ones are by mi.im. I have no idea, but I got these from Luca and Gray. I have my Toms. I have a few sandals from Toms. These are two of them. I, ha I thought I had more, but maybe I just have two, but these are the gray sandals. These are also kind of that uh, same style with the two panels. I love this one because it's a little bit more cool toned. So when I'm wearing more cool toned outfits, these go really well together. I have my Birkenstocks, which I'm going to keep because these are expensive and I have the white ones. I think these are slightly too small for me, to be honest. I have quite a few shoes or sandals from Cole Haan's. These are both from Cole Haan's. I love these white ones because they are super slim and they look really elegant. I love these with a low heel. These are a lot higher wedges, but I still really love these. They're super soft, like the leather is really flexible and soft. So when I wanna look really tall, but kind of still comfortable, these are my go-tos and I love this blush pink color. These are from 14th and Union. Both of them are from Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. They're slightly too big for me, but I still really love them. These ones are from, oh gosh, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this. Sebika nude wedges and it's that suede material. So I love these. They go with absolutely everything. I have these Tom sandals. I bought these when I was in California with Charlie. Oh, more than a year ago now. 
time has flown by. They're so easy to slip on and off. They're kind of like a fun version of flip-flops. So I do really love these. I'm gonna keep that. I just bought a pair of Tevas because I saw these in one of Christine Lee's videos and I was obsessed with these. And I love how you can wear these when you're doing like water sports or when you're going to the lake and you wanna put your feet in it because these strap on so you're not gonna lose your shoe but also it's really easy to clean. And they weren't too expensive so I absolutely love these and I'm gonna wear these next summer. I have my Spigas, I, I wear these literally every single day almost if i'm running errands these are my go-to's so easy to slip on and off i have worn the crap out of these i have my madewell sandals and these are so dirty because i've had these for several several years i'm obsessed with this silver panel with the brown strappy sandal situation I am obsessed with these, but I don't know. I don't know when I'll have the heart to dispose of these because I truly am obsessed with these shoes and they don't make something like this anymore. I am kind of worried because they do have a lot of wear on them. I will keep these for now because I have plenty of storage. So I will put that in the bin but reevaluate when I take these out next year. These are definitely going to be decluttered. I think both of them are. These are by Chinese Laundry. Super comfortable. Chinese Laundry is another one of the brands that I really like for my shoes, but it's just not my style anymore. Like there's just too much going on and I'm not the biggest fan of this style. Also is a little heavy, so I am going to declutter these. These as well, just not really my style anymore. And these are from Dolce Vita. I'm just going to give these away to someone who will give it way more love than I do. All right, so that is literally everything. Well, except for like my sneakers and stuff that are already in the closet and my taller boots. But yeah, this is what my bin looks like. All right, so I placed all of my fall and winter shoes. This is what it looks like. I put all the shoes up here. And these are my sneakers and more boots and then Charlie's shoes. All right, that's what the finished product looks like. Alrighty, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and kind of got a glimpse of my shoe collection. When I told you guys in the past that I have a lot of shoes, I wasn't kidding, I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> Lastly, if you wanna help me grow my channel, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Bye.